What's going on my fellow wizards? One Dark Genius here and welcome to an update video. In this video we'll be going over all of the new things in Prodigy and maybe some of the reasons why Prodigy has done some of the new things and what me and what we may see in the game. If you look at the icon board you can see their tall bizarre type looking icon. And as you guys can see usually they're meant to be Usually there are only 11 boxes here, but it seems like Prodigy's added an additional one, and that additional one seems to be your shop. Now if you click on it, it says World Store, so basically you can get all the stuff from the World Stores, right? Over here you guys can see you can check out all of your stores, you don't even need to go to the area, you can just click over here and get everything. Except for the pets, those things are impossible. And windows. Right, so you guys can see you can go through all of the world stores, you, you really don't need to go to the island anymore if you have enough, uh, what do you call it, currency to get them. Oh, I can get myself a solemn dash. That is basically the evolved version of Nash, so that basically takes a lot of pain out of it. That is quite nice. But what you guys can see is you, ca you can access the entire world shop, easily go around the place, find the pets which you need to catch. Yada yada yada, you guys can see it's very simple from this world shop. I mean, it does improve it a lot, but I don't really find myself using the shop much. Like, the only thing I find myself going to the shop for is like the items which I need to, co into, need to collect, right? You know, like the mystic which I need to get, the squawks, these all are things which I like need to collect. And then you got the pet store, you know, I seriously wonder why they call it the pet store, and if anything they should call it the buddy store, because this doesn't give us any pets which are helpful, it's just a store, a sham I tell you, and then we got ourselves the wand store, and you know, the birch wand, it actually does look like a birch wood, and the birch staff looks like birch wood, yes, yes, yes. You guys can see they did do some art updates, but you can basically, it's more like a convenience thing than reality, and of course you can also go to the shop over here from where you can buy potions and stuff. As you guys can see, I still have a lot of them, but not enough. There can never be enough. Alright, you guys can see there are a lot of potions. You can access everything. And then you guys can see, you can see the shop which you've completely bought out over here, you know. It's really just in, what do you call it, make it easier to access stuff in Prodigy. Die. These two will be gone from there, okay? Alright, so you guys can see that's one of the updates which Prodigy introduced. They basically made it easier to, well, get to the shop. Another thing which you could keep our eye on is the arena battles. What is going on over here? Let's see. Well, if you look over here on the trophy case, it seems that it's the 92nd day of the arena. Well, there are 92 days until the arena is over. As you guys can see, we're currently at Bronze 2. Here is the leaderboard, you guys can see people are already at the top. You know, there are already people who are like 9k, 1k trophies, so it really doesn't matter, everyone's on the leaderboard. Uh, interesting, the leaderboard actually shows who is a member and who isn't, interesting indeed. Huh, there are very few people who are actually members compared to non-members in the list, okay, that's interesting. Anyways, you guys can see that's what's going on in the arena. There's really nothing much which has been going on here. And not only that, but it seems like this month is near its end or something. Like, let me see. What am I trying to say? Okay. Anyways, as you guys can see, it seems like this month is nearing its end. A new mythical epic will be coming out soon. Soon, because it seems like that Vegeta Bloom's time limit has gotten to 36 days. And what do you call it? Guy Frooms has actually reduced as well. Interesting. They're, what do you call it? lifespan is reduced or something i don't know basically the amount of days in which you guys can catch these pets has been reduced and it seems like we need to go to shiver chill mountain to catch that my prodigy had made the update in which they changed their wizards prodigy actually provided an explanation for this on their youtube channel of course they didn't upload it on prodigy so no one really knew but anyways let's delete this guy over here and catch him on the same time and i'll be telling you guys the reason while doing this Oh, it seems like we actually have two evolutions right over here. I'm going to be catching myself both of them. Alrighty, Aphrodite, we seem to have broken the spell, which has been cursing my Shardic. So now we can just bring up the pep from behind. Yes, okay, as you guys can see, the Shardic is here. And now I believe that's the Rascal. No, it's the uh, Ruckus. Right, so now we only need to catch the Ruckus, and I'll tell you why they did that. Okay, so let me just.
Okay, so the first reason Paddy changed our wizard style to this running animation and stuff, and this stuff is that they claim that this will allow them to make content make it allow them to make content faster and easier. So I guess it does make sense for them to change it. Let's see what else is there. So basically, what they're saying is we'll get new items and gears, which will help us on the adventure. But it's interesting. They didn't say there would be new content. I mean. Okay, I would rather have the storyline progressed and have new items and feet new items and stuff But you know, maybe give us like the ice tower or something, you know, it's interesting I guess I don't know how long it takes. I wouldn't have a clue But you guys can see Pudgy still seems to be doing something along that line Now let's see that they were also saying that talking about something else. So let me quickly like listen in Okay, so it seems like Prodigy said that their next update will have things which are basically related to this update. Meaning, if you're a wizard, you guys can see it's lacking facial expressions and stuff. So they'll be adding that in like, here you go, have some facial features or expressions. And it's like, kapow, wow, and it's something along that line. So Prodigy seems to be doing that as well. And they said that so there are some items which they did not update actually or which haven't been updated. So those will also will get updated like the art will be updated you guys can see most of the items in game have had their item design change categories such as hats or boots that still need to be upgraded to their new model and other issues such as old player models still showing up for group battles against titans okay another thing which they'll be fixing is that the old wizard model actually does show up in group battles against the titan so i guess if you want to see that well then you could I mean, it's still a way to see the old wizard battle, wizard outfits, so it would be nice, you know? And yeah, that basically explains why Prodigy had made this. You see, this is why you guys need to know math. You need to know what to answer the question wrong so you can actually capture the pet which you guys need. Alright, here we go. Let's rescue the pets. Kaboom, kapow, what? Okay, right, so what happens when we capture a pet or release it? Like, we know when we capture a pet, the Puppet Master's curse breaks. But what happens when we release it? Does that mean that the pet gets recursed upon releasing or something like that? Like, what happens? Prodigy never really told us. Like, do they just get released into thin air or what? You know, it's pr a pretty interesting thing to think about. Huh. You know guys, but those seem to be literally all the updates which Prodigy's introduced in the game so far. They haven't done anything insane or crazy, it's just stuff normally, like updates and maintenance. Oh yeah, if the Puppet Master is shadowed, then if you throw lights on it, wouldn't he disappear into thin air or something like that? Alright guys, so I think that's going to be all for this video. As you guys can see, I did do, um, this was a little update on Prodigy, why they've done some stuff. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this, and if you did, please do make sure to demolish that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys want to know what's going on with Prodigy and why they might be doing this stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching, and bye! Bye!